In 2019, the Monster Energy Supercross has a lot of international riders. I'm talking about guys like Jess Pettis from Canada, Angelo Pellegrino from Italy, and the first time ever from Denmark to be riding here, Matthias Jorgensen. I know that that first Anaheim I looked at, I saw 221, I go, hey man, he made the main. You're the first Danish rider to ever make the main. Yeah, I'm actually the first Danish rider ever competing here in the AMA Supercross, so that's a big experience for me and I've really been looking forward to it. We started already to plan this in 2018, middle of the year, so come out here and this big expectation, it's, it's really nice, I like it. You sold everything in Denmark, you're, you're, you're not going back, you said, hey, it's, it, I'm coming to the US and it's, it's on. Yeah, you know, it was a big project to go here, so I had a big camper back home, I had to sell it, I sold my own car, and yeah, I had to say goodbye to my good sponsors back home to go here and yeah, actually pay for everything. I paying for my room, my steering, 500 a month, I pay for my own bikes, yeah, all, all this you see here is mine, so that's really different. Uh, well, I know last weekend you were disappointed. You didn't make that main event. The whoops were pretty treacherous last week. You went down in there, and uh, you're going to rebound here, round three, Anaheim, where you made your first main, and it's a triple crown now, so it's a little bit different format. Yeah, that's true. Last uh, weekend I didn't make the main, so that's the weekend I just want to get to forget. So here back in Anaheim, have really good uh, expectations from last weekend here, so we're going to push forward. I had a hard one down in the whoops on last weekend, so we're just going to forget that one. What did you learn from last weekend that possibly you could take on during as the season progresses? Yeah, last weekend was a little bit tough. It was the first weekend in the A group with the fast guys. So I was not like looking so much after myself. I was looking a little bit after the fast guys, but I should never have done that. So I just gonna get out there and get in my own zone, get in my own speed, and then we gotta build from there. I always ask the, the rookies when they come over, especially from another country like Denmark, What's the hardest part for you in Supercross? Yeah, the hardest part is to learn the tracks in eight minutes and especially the whoops. Back home where I come from, we don't have whoops like this, especially not that long if we have some. So whoops is the key for, for the fairness like me.